Michelle, how that'd be a I was getting f- I listened to a lot of people me It's Kid Craddock in the morning. So who on the show is watching The Bachelorette? I am. JC's in. I will be. I I'm in last night. I have yet to see so, one. So I'm over. Jenna two. and Kelly can leave the room. No, they can actually ask questions nope. that, you Kel- know, for Kel- people that didn't watch Kel- it. Kelly Kelly watched I, meant, it. I didn't mean Kelly, I meant Al. Jenna mm-hmm. and Al can leave the room. All right. Um, why does the girl on the ba- on the Bachelorette always have to be so sweet and nice? Like <laughs> last week, Des had to deal with that guy that was constantly asking her to the fantasy suite. Mm. And at one point, he got up and took her by the hand and said, let's go. And she's like, ha, ha, ha. it's like her fourth time with him. Well, where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> and sure enough, he walks her down to his hotel room, basically. <laughs> and she's nice about it. She's, you know, she's like, I'm not that kind of girl, blah, blah, blah. But she's mm-hmm. nice about it. Wouldn't it be great if just once the Bachelorette was a girl with an attitude mm-hmm. and no filter? That's what we would have gotten with Michelle Money back in the day. Remember yeah, her? it would be. Yeah. She would have been just like that. She would have given everybody the business. Mm-hmm. So I tried to pick who on the show would be best to play that person. And I, I, hmm. I, I deemed it was, I it was close. <laughs> but I decided to go with Kelly on this one. <laughs> all right. Kid. It's the closest I'll ever get. Welcome. Hold on. Welcome to the Bitchlerette. <laughs> okay. All right. Do we have the music? Do we have the cool uh, music? Yeah. Tension music? Okay. Here we go. Because we're just going to do the final rose ceremony. You ready, okay. Kelly? Yes. All right. I'll be the host. Or call me Vanessa. Vanessa. I'll call you Vanessa. Okay. Here we go. Okay, guys, this is the final rose ceremony. Vanessa, you have 12 handsome guys over there, but only 10 roses. That means two of you will be going home. Vanessa, how are you feeling? I feel like I want to reshuffle. (laughs) These are the ones that are left? Yes, these are your final 12, and they're right here. They can hear you. Oh, my (laughs) God, I totally screwed this up. Look at them. Time to see who's going to be one step closer to being your soulmate. (laughs) I hope you're hiding some in the back. Let's get started. Just uh, start handing out those roses, if you don't mind. Jason, will you accept this rose? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, I will, Vanessa. And I can't wait to get to know you much better. All right. Now, this is the first time I've, like, seen you this close up. What? So, never mind. Get back in line. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Chris, can, can she do that? <laughs> well, um, this is all about Vanessa finding true love. I, wow. Did you see the nose on that guy? Yeah. He's got stretch marks on his pullover. I'm, I'm standing right <laughs> here. <laughs> Still 12 roses left. He could smoke a cigar in the shower. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. I guess I never noticed it. He walked up here and I was like, yeah. dang, I could ski off that thing. <laughs> I'm still standing here. Thanks. Ready for another name. <sighs> wow. Okay. I'm kind of scared now. All right. Who's, who's that guy that did the magic trick? Uh, that was Bryce. Okay. Bryce, you're out. Hey. That's, that's not how we do it here. But I thought this was about me finding true love, and he's not it. So bye, Bryce. You're, you're kicking Bryce out right now. Yeah. All right. Thanks. I mean, come on. Let's go. Short on time. Keep walking. And nope, no hug. Just take a left, Houdini. Have a nice dorky life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vanessa, he's gone, and um, you still have all your roses left. Hmm. Yeah, I can I just save him for a whole bunch of new guys? I'm going to ask you what I'm sure the viewers at home are asking. What's wrong with all these good-looking gentlemen? Really? Really. I mean, come on. Gay, gay, creepy, short, gay, fat, unabomber. (laughs) Pothead, redneck, narcissist, mama's boy, Canadian. (laughs) Well, you you need to pick ten of them. Oh, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Well, Vanessa, we have to hand out these uh, roses just like we do at the end of every show for the last seven years. So if you don't mind. All right. Wesley, will you accept this rose and also promise to take a shower at least once every other day? Well, heck yeah. It'd be an honor. Hey, Vanessa, I can't wait to take you mud. And- Ugh, I'm calling Uber. Oh. Mm. See you next week on The Bitch Lorette. <laughs> Why not? Why not just have somebody be honest about Keep it? Keep it rural? Yeah. Yeah. Because... America thinks that's what they want. Like a Nicki Minaj type. Hey, you know what? I'm really not feeling any of y'all. Subscribe now for more videos from Kid Craddock in the Morning. And check us out at KidNation.com. It's Kid Craddock in the Morning.